A new state audit found that California has provided limited oversight of its perinatal program. That's the period of time for a mother and baby centered around the weeks before and after birth. KCRA3's Andrea Flores is here now with the concerns raised by state auditors. ED lawmakers tasked the state auditor's office with looking into the comprehensive perinatal services program. It's dedicated to reducing the number of children born at low birth weights, a number that has risen in the past decade. So they focused on the Department of Health Care services and the Department of Public Health. In the report, they found the two departments have provided limited oversight and have not significantly improved the program. For instance, auditors found the two departments did not collect data necessary to show how many Medi-Cal members are using the program. They're also not adequately training providers on the program, and they're not giving Medi-Cal members the information on the availability of services. In California, the percentage of infants born at low birth weights has increased in the past decade. A low birth weight is described as below five pounds, eight ounces. In 2014, it was 6.7% of infants born. In 2021, it jumped to 7.3%. That's about 30,000 infants. The audit says infants born at low birth weights are 20 times more likely to die than infants born at a healthy weight. They're also more likely to face other health challenges. State auditors say health care services can improve the perinatal program in three ways. First, First, information handed out to expecting mothers should include the full range of enhanced services. Second, health care services should require managed care plans to review perinatal service providers at least once every three years. And lastly, since Medi-Cal will transition to managed care, lawmakers should assign health care services the primary responsibility of the perinatal program.